forward. As I mentioned to you, the focus of the conversation, you know, which is appropriate, I think right now we've got impeachment hearings going on and a, a lot of discussion about truth and facts, um, which are obviously big issues um, in Judaism and in our country right now. Um, so let's start by talking about that. Um, so the Torah, as you know, I'm sure, identifies truth and trust, uh, civility and respect as, as really the foundation of a, a just and fair society. Um, do you do you think that our our current political discourse has put put those issues those those fundamental Jewish um, doctrine under assault in our country? Um, why don't we start, Ruth, with you? What What do you think? I don't think it's special to today. I think that that uh, mentality of, of dishonesty, um, ugly sort of discourse, I, I don't think it's anything new. It's probably reached some new heights during this administration, uh, but I don't think it's unusual. Mm -hmm. So um, you, you don't, when you say you think it's reached new heights, um, what does that mean for you and, and does that concern you? I think what concerns me the most is uh, the fact that, in my opinion, our tax dollars are being misused. I think that in the past, when a president was elected, it really didn't matter what side you were on. If you won, great, you were ecstatic. And if you lost, you took that to be the reality of your day and you, to you accepted it and you respected that and you moved on. Um, what, what I think is not okay is the fact that there was a duly elected president and it seems certain people are not able or willing to accept the reality of what it is. And I think that the country would be better off if they did. You don't have to like him. You don't have to like everything he stands for. Many people didn't like previous presidents and what they stood for. But you respected the office, you respected the chair, and you, you went with it. Um, can you still speak your mind against it and be respectful? Yes. I don't think that exists today. I think people who are, you know, anti-Trump um, don't even want to know anything good that Trump is doing. They're very simply anti-Trump and anti-anything and everything he says or does. Hannah, what do you think, um, both to, to my question, but also responding to what Ruth said? Ruth, I disagree with you pretty profoundly. Um, you are correct that the dishonesty and disrespect is, is at an all-time high. Um, but I don't think that many of the people that are concerned with the Trump presidency are, just don't like him. This is a man who believes that it is okay for the president of the United States, the leader of the free world, to call other candidates disparaging comments. For instance, either yesterday or the day before, I'm retired, so every day is Saturday to me. I don't remember which day that Trump addressed the um, American Israel Friendship Council in Florida. He never referred to Elizabeth Warren with any other name other than Pocahontas. And of course, the Native Americans in our country are outraged by this. We all should be outraged. He also said to the vast majority of the audience being Jews, that you may not like me, but you have to vote for me because I will help you keep your wealth. Landing on an amazing anti-Semitic trope. He's a bully, he's a crook, he lies. There are people who are counting his lies that are over 14,000. It's hard to know when he's telling the truth or if he really can tell the truth. Um, I more than disrespect his disrespect. I, I speak out against it any way I can, so I'm happy to be here today. But I have to tell you, when I look at issues, he doesn't stand where I stand on issues. But today's question is honesty and respect and civility. And none of those go with the character of our current president. 
I just don't think that uh, prior presidents had much more of it. Um, you know, and I truly, I hate when people bring up Obama because his presidency is over, thankfully, and what's done is done. Um, but Obama smiled to your face and went right behind every Jew's back to work with Islamists and to work against any safety for Jews. There are entire cities in um, the United States, Detroit, Minnesota, where a Jew cannot enter. Uh, it is unsafe for me to go to certain neighborhoods in Detroit, and that is not okay. Um, so do I agree with you that Trump is, I don't know what the word is. Um, a liar. Uh, they're all liars. They're, they're all liars. If anything, he's brutally and ug ugly honest, is what I think. I was in the Obama administration. I was the special envoy on anti-Semitism globally. I spent time with him, you know, watching my back, making sure I could wag my finger at prime ministers and presidents around the world. He did not work with Islamists. I don't know where you got that. My guess is from President Trump. Not one of them. From the uh, assistant secretary to the secretaries, no one was working with Islamists. He went to Cairo to scold the Islamists and, and to talk to the Arab nations about stopping the Islamists from capturing Islam. There has never been a lie that I know of that President Obama made about anything other than you can keep your doctor. That is true, he said that, and we couldn't keep our doctors. Now that's one out of eight years versus 14,000 and counting in three and a half years.